What's up, Yoon fam? It is I, Mark Yoon. Today, we're going to be talking about Virtual Fighter Five Ultimate Showdown. So, uh, usually I cover uh, fighting games on this channel, and I've pretty much strictly been adhering to Soul Calibur Six as of, I guess, the most recent couple of years, because that's where uh, the YouTube algorithm has put me. And um, though I do still consider myself a Soul Calibur Six, I guess, YouTuber, um, I really want to talk about the other games that I'm passionate about as well. Um, so for now, we're just going to stick to fighting games, and I may possibly go into some other things that are requested. Like, I know some people have said they want to hear my uh, thoughts and see things about Scarlet Nexus and things of that nature. So we'll cross that road when we come to it. But for now, I just wanted to talk about uh, the current, I guess, landscape of fighting games that's right now on the uh, current gen consoles. And uh, what I think is going good and what I think is going not so great and how I think Virtual Fighter 5 is fitting into all of this. So admittedly, we're going to start off the bat with a little bit of a biases test. So I've played all the Virtual Fighters. I own them. It's probably my least favorite of the mechanical fighting games, um, if I'm being completely honest with myself. Usually when it comes to my favorite stylistic choices of how to play game, fighting games in particular, it usually starts somewhere with like Tekken tapers down to Soul Calibur, and then I usually go into um, uh, Dead or Alive and other territories. Um, with my least favorite actually being like a Street Fighter esque or a Marvelous Capcom style of combat, the uh, quarter circle ones. Um, I just find it's a little bit. Uh, harder to pull off technical combos. I know you can use the directional pad or an arcade stick, but that's a fault on my uh, self, not on the actual community or the game itself. But uh, Virtual Fighter has always been one of those games that like, I get and I like it, but um, I know it's supposed to be a series that's grounded in reality, but it definitely like, it's almost too grounded in reality to the point where the character designs can be a bit bland at times. Um, I mean, swap out Akita for, like, any kind of regular plain protagonist, and he's easily, like, a Ryu, or, uh, any number of other characters that have filled the same role over the years. And I'm not saying that I don't like Virtual Fighter, uh, it is a bit slower to me, and the hits don't feel like they do as much or have as much impact as something as flashy as, like, a Tekken, um, but for some reason I keep on coming back to the game. Uh, I think the main drawback for me is probably the lack of a story mode or other kinds of single player features whatsoever. Now there's the character customization, that's pretty cool. But when it comes down to it, if you're not just like playing online constantly, like which I get bored of pretty quickly, there's not much really to do outside of that. Um, <clears throat> whether that's your thing or not is not for me to tell you, this is just my personal opinion. I know a lot of people hold this series in their hearts like very great, um, but I think the best thing that they have done is with PlayStation Plus for June, um, the first day, June 1st, which Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown comes out, is releasing for free. Well, free if you're subscribed to PlayStation Plus, which pretty much everyone that has a PlayStation is because there's no other way to use online fe features or functionality without the, uh, the monthly subscription service. But getting it for free day and date is... Uh, a really good decision on their end. Firstly, the netcode in Virtual Fighter has never been super great, so the fact that it's offered up for free day one is going to be a lot of people jumping on and playing, which is really going to help the peer-to-peer -peer system. It's going to give it a robust like and smooth kind of transitionary period as long as uh, most of those people continue playing. A lot of the people that are going to be playing might drop it after a while, but I mean, it's also going to give newcomers a really good chance to hop into it and see if they like the series. Now, recently, Virtual Fighter has been kind of off my radar in terms of playing. Whenever I usually play with friends or subscribers, we don't usually go to Virtual Fighter, like, ever. Actually, I think the last time I played Virtual Fighter 5, uh, well, we'll get to that in a minute, but the last time I actually put the disc in was probably, like, five years ago, something like that. Uh, the game is a little old, but I mean, this is the most recent iteration of it. It's had a couple different variations in the past. It's got a whole new coat of uh, paint on top of it. It's a new graphic overhaul. Uh, the characters, even their facial features, look totally different. They're going definitely going for a hyper-realistic kind of thing over a stylistic 
kind of uh, design, even though there is some stylistic choices that they have made. But um, you could definitely tell that it's grounded more so in reality than something like Tekken or Soul Calibur. But uh, when it comes to the game itself, I think the PlayStation Plus offering it for free is really going to help it a lot. I know I wasn't even considering really purchasing it, but I have PlayStation Plus, so it is going to be probably the thing I'm looking forward to most for June, actually, now. It would be nice to hop back in with some of my favorites, like, uh, like Cage and Sarah and all them, or is it Kage? I'm never too sure. If they had a story mode, someone would actually say his name and it'd be uh, easier to discern. But I do like the character customization. I think it gives enough of a unique look to individual characters that you can kind of put yourself or your own personality into it. So I do kind of like that. Um, other aspects of the game, it's it's a pretty bare bones fighter when it, when it comes down to it. It's something that you definitely see in the past. It's very esports friendly. It's very um, pick it up and play and go. Uh, the combos are pretty smooth. Each character definitely feels like an individual. And Ultimate Showdown is going to be the ultimate test of that game. Now, when I first heard Virtual Fighter uh, trending a couple months ago, I was actually really intrigued and kind of excited for a Virtual Fighter 6. But the fact that we're getting Virtual Fighter 5 uh, Ultimate Edition, it's still fine. I mean, it's a good game. It's a solid fighter. Um, maybe this iteration of it will actually change my name, it, my my mind, and push it over the edge for me to where maybe I look at it more seriously when it comes to other fighting games. And again, guys, this is like my personal thing. I know some people like the uh, QT. Uh, fighting style, the Street Fighter-esque style, much more than uh, other people. I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters is super popular. Um, I like Dragon Ball Fighters. I think the fighting style is the hardest for me to get my head around. I don't know why, but it's always been that arcadey type of style that has uh, made me drop games faster than usual. I'm more of a technical input kind of guy, and I especially like Soul Cover because of the eight-way run system and the defensive maneuvers outside of Reverse Ledge, that is. But, uh, Virtual Fighter, I'm definitely willing to give it another chance, and I'm definitely willing and hoping that this, uh, brings in a new generation of fighters into it and gets them excited. It's definitely a good time to do it right now. I mean, outside of, like, a couple of DLC seasons that we have for, like, Tekken, there's not really anything going on in, um, <laughs> in the fighting space right now. Um, I mean, Dragon Ball Fighters is still strong. I don't know if I would consider Xenoverse a fighting game, but Xenoverse 2 is constantly getting like new um, updated characters and things of that nature. But Soul Calibur has been radio silent for like five months, and uh, Mortal Kombat seems to be either taking its time with Combat Back 3 or not doing it at all. Um, so there is a bunch of... What I mean is there's a really good window for this to really shine right now. You get all those people playing for free. You get... All these newcomers coming in that have PlayStation Plus, uh, all the people whose PlayStation 5 is their first system, um, things of that nature. A lot of people who have bought the PlayStation 4 because we've seen an uptick in sales uh, based on the scarcity of the PlayStation 5. So there's a lot of things that are really working for it, and I am looking forward to hopping back in with Akira and his friends and trying to uh, get my hands dirty and see if I can pick up where I left off five years ago and if I remember any of the combos. But I don't know, now I'm going to turn it over to you guys. I want to hear in the comment section down below uh, what you like and dislike about the Virtual Fighter series, and are you excited to play this new iteration of the game? If so, why? Uh, you can also go over to my Discord, which the link is in my description box, so we can continue the conversation over there. And uh, I appreciate it. Let me know by, if you like me talking about other games besides Soul Calibur by hitting that like button so that I know that I can do these videos and YouTube doesn't bury it in its algorithm and forced me back into a soul cover hole. But uh, with that being said, we're going to bring this video to a close. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, as I always say, I love it. Thank you. And thank you.